Ah, finally a nice day. It really just can't get any better than this. Warm weather, I'm caught up with my schoolwork, my crops are thriving, and I finally finished Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That was kind of a disappointment, actually. But, most importantly, I uploaded my ukulele review while it was still relevant. I forgot to hit upload, didn't I? Oh well, I'll, I'll do it when I get back, I guess. Banjo-Kazooie Made by Rare back in 1998 for the Nintendo 64, it was beloved by many a lonely child. The Bear and Bird duo would go around collecting jiggies and other such collectibles to defeat an evil rhyming witch. The world they explored was colorful, wacky, and filled with all kinds of humor. Things were looking great for this pair. Their games were successful, and kids loved them. At least, until Microsoft killed them. But worry not, fans of Banjo-Kazooie, for the minds that brought you the game formed their own game studio, Platonic Games, and started a Kickstarter for the spiritual successor of the Bird and Bear, a chameleon and bat known as Ukulele. The Kickstarter ended on June 16th, 2015. Their initial goal for the game was 175,000 British pounds. They wound up making a whopping total of over 2 million British pounds. With that much money, and the well-received demo shortly before released, what could possibly go wrong when the game finally came out on April 11th, 2017? Well, nothing, really. For better or worse, we got exactly what we paid for. Now, I happened to be one of the people that actually donated to this, back when I didn't have college to worry about. Ended up getting this nice little physical edition with a soundtrack and manual art book combo. I actually never played Banjo-Kazooie, I only ever played a little bit of Banjo-Tooie, and mostly the GoldenEye spoof. So why did I join in on funding this nostalgia-driven game? I don't know, because I'm a sheep, probably. The game starts off with Capital B and his henchman, Dr. Quack, talking about their evil plans. They're going to steal all the books in the world and hold a monopoly on them. Which is weird because the internet does exist in this world and everyone could just read online. There's also probably anti-monopoly laws, but eh, whatever, I'll roll with it. Meanwhile, Yuka and Laylee are just chilling around outside their home, an old pirate ship. Because why not? However, just as they're realizing the book they found might have actually been valuable, it's sucked away, and the two of them chase after it in order to get it back and sell it later. And thus, the game begins. And in the first ten minutes, you'll have pretty much experienced the entire game. I mean, I can't really be upset. It's exactly what it says it is, a collectathon. But it's mostly just the same thing the entire game. Get the quills, buy some moves, get a pagey, move on. The challenges don't really deviate too much across the worlds. However, the different worlds are the biggest selling point of the game. They all actually look really nice, and while they're small when you first unlock them, they get pretty massive after expanding them with pages, the main collectibles of the game. Each world has several different things you can do through it in order to progress. The first way is just by exploring. Pages can be found just lying around some places, or require a little obstacle maneuvering or a little series of quests or collecting other things, like five Ghost Riders scattered across each level. There's not much I can really say about this one. Just look around everywhere, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you'll even find John Tron trying to sneak his way back into the game. Wealthy blacks also commit more crime than poor whites. That's a fact. The second thing is a bunch of minigames you can complete. They all kind of suck. In each world, you'll come across two kinds of games you can do for pages. The first is Rextro's games. They are all awful. None of them are fun, and they all control like crap. The worst is the hurdle one. If you get hit by an enemy, the wall will catch up to you, crushing you and effectively making you lose two total health points. It's pretty garbage. And you've got to do all of his games at least twice to get the pages from them. They're just unpleasant. The second minigame is minecart gem collecting. You eventually meet Cardos, an old minecart fellow. And yes, they make a God of War joke pretty much the second you meet him. To get the pagey, you have to collect a certain amount of gems before reaching the end of the track. That'd be a simple task if it weren't for the fact that Cardos kind of controls like garbage. You either speed along into an enemy and miss the gem you were aiming for, or slow down and hit an enemy while missing the gem you were aiming for. They're less horrible than Rextra's games, but they still kind of suck. And someone decided it'd be a great idea to have an entire boss fight on Cardos. That's the third way of getting pages. Boss battles. Each world has a boss fight hidden somewhere in it. 
these are interesting in that they actually have enemies that finally deviate from the three normal ones you see everywhere else in the game. Most of them are actually pretty challenging, although probably not for the right reasons. Like being in a minecart. But they are a nice change of pace from the normal game, and it was kind of fun to see what boss awaited me in each world. Another thing that mixed up the game occasionally were the new moves you could buy in each world. They're sold by Trouser the Snake. And yes, haha, <laughs> jokes. Most of the moves are needed to get a few of the pages in each area, and they're also needed to move on to later levels via the hub world. Some of the abilities are actually kind of cool. You've got berry shooting, force shields, air bubbles, and... But seriously, I'm kind of running out of things to say. There's just not a whole lot to talk about with this game. Outside of seeing the aesthetic of the next world, getting new abilities, and seeing what new stuff awaits you in each level, like transformations or bosses, the game's pretty much the same all the way through. Just collect everything. Do it, you nerd. I'll be honest, I never even finished the game. I just got bored of it all. Like I said, there's not much to talk about. The new moves and worlds only change so much, and outside of their looks, all the worlds just kind of felt the same to me. When I made it to the final world and then learned I needed 100 of the 145 pages in the game, I just decided to call it quits. I felt like I'd already seen everything and didn't need to finish it. I am by no means saying this is a bad game. Sure, the controls aren't always the best, but overall it's pretty solid. It's just not for me. But it looks great, each world has its own style and was really pretty. And of course, the music I shouldn't even have to mention. It's Grant Kirkhope's stuff, he's always a plus. And while I wasn't a big fan of the humor, which was really pun-based and sarcastic most of the time, I know a lot of people really enjoy that style of comedy and would get a kick out of the game's writing. One of the more interesting things I saw during the game's initial release was some of the backlash on it. Lots of people were saying it was mediocre and worse than Banjo-Kazooie. I'd actually have to disagree. From the little that I've seen and played of Banjo-Kazooie, it seemed better, if not the same. What we got from the Kickstarter was Banjo-Kazooie. I think the best way to explain this is a paraphrase quote from the late Total Biscuit during his co-optional podcast. It wasn't the game we thought we played, but was the game we actually played. In other words, the nostalgia from Banjo-Kazooie made people believe that was a better game than it actually might have been, and seeing the exact same game without those nostalgia goggles made ukulele seem worse than it was. But, in my professionally unprofessional opinion, I'd say that, while not amazing, it was a good game, and I really don't regret my purchase of it. Know what? I changed my mind. Worst game ever. Give me my money back.